गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मोटिवेशन क्लास इन मोटिवेशन क्लास वी विल डिस्कस हाउ आर्ट कैन मोटिवेट अस वी हैव डिस्कस डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स व्हिच कैन मोटिवेट अस वी कैन बी मोटिवेटेड बाय एनी टीचर वी कैन बी मोटिवेटेड बाय एनी फैमिली मेंबर सो मोटिवेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आवर लाइफ एंड देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मोटिवेशन वन इज एक्सट्रिंसिक मोटिवेशन which is coming from outside outer world and one one is intrinsic motivation which is coming from inner world so when you are doing some work satisfaction is important because you need to uh, you need to be satisfied when you are doing some work and uh, like for doing better you need more motivation so if you are working in a company your boss or other workers will motivate you not always when it is a good work culture then uh, everyone will motivate you and you will feel more uh, motivated more positive towards your work so motivation is really really important now today we are discussing motivation to art so everyone uh, everyone can be motivated by different aspects so i am discussing how uh, art can motivate us see here we uh, well, you can see some artwork some pictures right some beautiful pictures you can see there is a face there are so many colors there is flower there uh, behind the face there is sun or moon whatever you may enter in you can interpret there are butterflies so this is a beautiful piece of art this is also one piece of art this is also one piece of art so maybe after seeing this you will be motivated to paint more pictures like this or you you will uh, want to paint a picture like this so this picture is motivating you in a positive manner and it, it it is coming from outer world so it is extrinsic motivation now there are different forms of art singing dancing uh, pottery anything anything can motivate you so let's read as we reach the one year mark of working from home remote teams are at risk of losing motivation so we know in the age of era of pandemic all of us have like uh, have shifted to home we have worked from home so remote teams are at uh, risk of losing motivation so the people who are coming to the office when we go to the office we we can we are getting con contacted with uh, so many employees and with the boss so we are discussing we are interacting we are getting motivation but when you are working from home we are not uh, coming to the contact of anyone so we uh, we have lost the touch lost the connection so by drawing and drawing on techniques used by great business leaders can revitalize teams and speak fresh moment of innovation so by drawing on techniques used by great business leaders can encourage the teams Uh, who can spark fresh moment of innovation? For example, studies show that jazz musicians' improvisational skills are achieved via heightened sensory activity in the brain, alongside the activation of cognitive control functions, leading to an incredible and vivid process of self-expression. So the musicians, jazz musicians.
have achieved one uh, sensory activity uh, in the brain alongside the activation of cognitive control functions leading to incredible and little process of self expression. But the state of flow is not something that only jazz artists can reach. It uh, spans beyond the music sphere and can be summoned in the office or any company in the world. So, so state of flow is not something that only jazz musicians will have. It spans beyond the music sphere and can be summoned in the offices of any company in the world. Everyone can tap into free flowing creativity to compose ideas beyond the usual boundaries. Techniques from the following five artistic disciplines can broaden your team's creative thinking and break up the monotony of remote work. To paint new perspectives to visual arts, visualization works through brain imagery with neurons interpreting that imagery as if it, as if it had a real life action. That means that when we visualize something, our brain cells perform similarly to how they would if it uh, were actually occurring. So you probably know the expression seeing is believing, but really seeing is doing. So visualization works to brain imagery. When we visualize something, it goes through the neuron to our brain and we get the sensation that we get motivated. So that means uh, when we visualize something, our brain cells perform similarly to how they would if it were actually occurring. You probably know the expression seeing is believing, but really seeing is doing. Let's take an actual example. We have employees at a major non-profit organization visualized that they were attending an academy award ceremony. They were tasked with picturing which awards they would not have made the shortlist for, uh, which awards they were nominated for, and which awards they ended up winning. This helped them realize what they were and were not set up to achieve. By visualizing the scenario, they could understand how they needed to reorganize and bring their goals to fruition. Seeing what you want to achieve puts you in the end of goal position, so you don't lose sight of the core aims as you listen with the process. So you may not want to print out uh, Photos of your clients, but consider having their logo, mission statement, brand colors, or advertisement in your workspace. If you operate in B2C, try to lesser your users or your target personality profiles. Another exercise is to draw answers to business problems. The drawing is a powerful way to open the draw creative side of your mind. When you encourage people to change the medium they typically use to answer open-ended questions, you replace the structure step-by-step -step process with something more exploratory. People should not be drawing a flowchart or brain diagram, but should otherwise be given minimal direction or any limitations. Here is a brilliant brief tell your team that in 2000 years, an anthropologist will stumble upon cave paintings they have drawn. Ask them to illustrate this particular moment in time as best they can on a single sheet of paper. Convincing reality in a single artistic expression gives at the heart of what's occurring rather than the details and part of some reason choose to represent it in emotional, sensory ways that are often absent in the workplace.
entertain and enjoy the escaping changes. One of my favorite artistic transplant is Dupro. He helps people learn to read, choose, uh, laugh, and excel. This is more intimate and emotional. And because improv is a team sport, it's ideal for connecting everyone to a joint scenario. Improv does not have to be full on dramatics. You can pull elements of improv into team meetings and exercise. Uh, so people don't immediately withdraw from the spotlight. For example, during a team call, ask individuals to take one minute to find an object in their house that reminds them of an issue at work or with the client. Then explain their choice to the group as they are challenged to act with limited resources. This exercise encourages people to do some mental gymnastics, reach an efficient conclusion. It also places a physical object on an abstract problem, forcing people to see it from a new perspective. So another exercise is to get your team to imagine they are starting a new company with the sole aim of outdoing a current business. They have all the investment materials they need and have to describe how they would grow up in the market when importing a different character. So push them to pay attention to other to the details of the of this fictional brand's personality and approach. Are they replaced where are your company is cautious? Are they empathic? Empathy where the company is objective, creating a character to counter on its own, allows you to detect your weakness and adopt powerful traits you have been too shy to so Don't forget the classic improved team, yes, and which is a state of flow out of people because they have to be for one another continuously. Someone begins the game by saying a statement, and each person has to provide a follow up statement. Starting with the yes and this, uh, the game teaches players to accept all ideals, to freeze them together, and compile something using only their reflexes. This is how art can uh, like uh, create uh, like some motivation among employees. So over a third of remote workers worry they are not moving enough at home. Now that commutes and coffee breaks with colleagues are scarce, but the a sedentary activity can lower employees' energy and motivation over time. The physical movement triggers the 
release of endorphins which interact uh, with receptors in the brain stimulating positivity something as simple as changing locations can benefit employees whether it is taking a meeting in another room changing the desk position or walking uh, while on a call the great suggestion is the walking group call where everyone in attendance is on the go as they chat stretching their physical and mental muscles every now and then you can set up a zoom dance party where people request songs dance uh, or simply enjoy the music for a while so not every second of the work day has to be serious and this is a shared moment to be serious and human to think of a virtual version of the office cafe disco episode it might start a little awkward but people will let their guard down on their own terms can use quite to too much creativity and content sometimes the biggest energy rush comes from the outpouring of shorts when they when you are hit with inspiration and spew out an endless string of ideas you can try implementing a poetry session in the morning and people take a few minutes to free hand it could be a stream of consciousness ramble a six word response to a prompt or a carefully structured poem like all poetry some will be absurdist babble while some could tangle into that person's reality don't force people to share this with the team unless they want to draw its potential these are the ways uh, through art can help us to get motivated any query Okay thank you